Uh, we continue closely monitoring the situation around the clock at the highest levels of government. We're bringing all the capabilities of the U.S. government to bear on this issue and are working side by side with our partners in the private sector and our international partners. I spoke uh, moments ago with my counterpart in Great Britain uh, and learned an update from them that they have uh, a feeling of control over this uh, ransomware event and that uh, as their affected computers seem to have been tied to the, the fact that their healthcare system is so large and networked. Uh, they are uh, painfully aware, though, of the fact that this is a global attack, as are we. Uh, as of this morning, it has reached approximately 150 countries and infected more than 300,000 machines. Uh, that, the good news is the infection rates have slowed over the weekend. We have been concerned about that and when last we talked. Uh, the ransomware has disrupted telecommunications companies, hospitals, and other organizations. Uh, the UK National Healthcare Service announced 48 of its organizations were affected. Uh, and that resulted in inaccessible computers and telephone service, but an extremely minimal uh, effect on and disruption to patient care. Uh, that was something uh, quite evident in my conversation. Uh, computers at the Spanish telecommunications company Telefonica were compromised, and we had a small number of affected parties in the U.S., including FedEx. Uh, Secretary Kelly at the Department of Homeland Security continues to lead operations and public-private coordination. Uh, his team is issuing twice daily situation reports, is holding multiple calls per day among experts and operations centers managing our response. Uh, as of today, no federal systems are affected. Overall, the U.S. infection rate has been lower than many parts of the world, but we may still see significant impacts in additional networks uh, as these uh, malware attacks morph and change. Uh, despite appearing to be criminal activity intended to raise money, it appears that less than $70,000 has been paid in ransoms, and we are not aware if payments have led to any data recovery. Uh, the Cyber Threat Intelligence Integration Center is also keeping us informed of the classified insights concerning the investigation into these hacks. And let me talk about now briefly the way ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, it's important for our business and individuals to know that three variants of this ransomware are reported to have emerged using similar techniques. Uh, we had talked last I was here about variants of this malware. If you follow the mitigation advice published by DHS, the FBI, and Microsoft, and have patched your systems, you are protected against all of these variants. It's also important to know that pirated, stolen, or otherwise unlicensed versions of affected software often will not receive patches, so it's important to not use that unlicensed software. If you do, you'll be subject to extraordinarily susceptible infection. Well, it would be satisfying to hold accountable those responsible for this hack, uh, something that we are working on quite seriously. The worm is in the wild, so to speak, at this point, and patching is the most important message as a result. Uh, business and government have responded with upgrades and patches, defensive mitigations, and this has dramatically reduced the vulnerable population over the last three days. So this needs to continue to be our focus. Uh, let me finish by repeating advice that all organizations be vigilant in updating their software. Uh, and that the only computers that can be compromised uh, by the WannaCry or WannaCrypt virus are ones that do not have the latest security patches available from Microsoft.